last episode of our Australian adventure, we visited the beautiful Clare Valley and cycled the Riesling Trail. We then flew the next leg of our journey to Adelaide and experienced one of our roughest flights so far. The train station happens to be right next to Parafield Airport which makes getting around Adelaide really easy. In between the trains, buses, trams and our bikes we can pretty much go anywhere. Our first stop was Adelaide City where we could buy ourselves a visitor's travel pass which is a three day pass giving us unlimited travel on all buses, trains and trams. From the city we headed out to the seaside town of Semaphore where we are camping for the next few days. First stop this morning, we are off to check out the port. After breakfast with the seagulls, we stopped at the Tourist Information Centre to find out what there is to do and see during our time in Adelaide. Located on the outskirts of Adelaide, the port played a vital role in the formative years of Adelaide and South Australia. Many of its impressive 19th century buildings have been preserved and the town's rich history can be experienced through a historical walk or a visit to the many different types of museums on offer. We thought a trip to the Aviation Museum would probably be the most fitting for us. We spent some time wandering through the South Australian Aviation Museum. There didn't appear to be a main theme that ran through the museum. There was bits and pieces of everything. And I suppose the only thing that connected all the aircraft and the displays was the connection to Australia. They were all, all random aircraft from military to commercial airliners to general aviation aircraft. And uh, one main reason that we did decide to go here was to have a look at John Johansson's RV4. Using the RV4 that he'd built himself from a kit, um, John managed to set over 50 world records flying around the world to the east and then around to the west and one of his last adventures was flying to the South Pole, being the first single-engine piston aircraft to fly to the South Pole. The RV-4 had been reasonably modified, uh, especially for, in its time when it was built, when there wasn't a lot of uh, electronics and avionics uh, that GPS systems fitted to it before it left on its first big trip. Constant speed propeller, long-range fuel tanks. You can read more about John Johansson yeah. and his RV4 in the, the link below. So you got to hold the light in the centre. You can't move it. You can't move the stick left or right. No, just the that's, pedals. That's not realistic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about? Ready? Silly game. And just before leaving the South Australian Aircraft Museum, the uh, volunteers there gave us a tour through their workshop where they were working on putting back together some of the next displays. Eventually they'll get that going. We're not a big fan of cities and we didn't expect to be too fond of Adelaide, but to our surprise we really loved it. It was modern, trendy and had a really good vibe. It's a pretty city with historical buildings and heaps of really nice parks spotted all over the city. Adelaide was particularly good. Before arriving we saw an article online listing the top 50 burgers in Australia and listed in the top 10 was a veggie burger from a cafe in Adelaide so we thought we'd better check it out. Expecting to find some fancy modern cafe packed with people, 
We found a yellow door with a very narrow stairwell in a very old building. We thought surely this couldn't be the place, no one even know it was here. Sure enough, up the narrow staircase was a little cafe with a random collection of mismatched decor, serving generous sized hearty burgers that were amazing. If you want to have a good view of Adelaide, it's worth catching the bus up to Mount Lofty. If you're into bushwalking and hiking, from the top of Mount Lofty there's a number of walks that you can take. But from at the lookout there is a 360 degree view of the Adelaide city, suburbia and out to the countryside vineyards and bushlands. So while we thought Adelaide was pretty awesome, their public transport system has one fail. To go from one side of the city to the other you have to go via the city. For example, one afternoon we took the tram out to Glenelg. Once we were done, we wanted to go back to where we were staying at Semaphore, which is not too far away. But there is no train line that goes from Glenelg to Semaphore. You have to catch the train back to the city, then out to Semaphore. The same goes for the airport over here. You have to go into the city, then back out. It was really inconvenient and took that much longer that sometimes it was just quicker to ride. It just so happens that their bike tracks are really good and one of our most favourite things in Adelaide would have to be riding along the coast between Glenelg and Semaphore with the sun setting over the ocean. G'day, how are you? Just how can I help to, you? No, I just want to get out to my aeroplane. Yeah, mate, what registration is that? Genki Hotel Charlie. Yeah, just stand by, mate. Hotel Ground, good afternoon, Yankee Hotel Charlie, we're from Murray Ridge, we're received and Delta request taxi code. Yankee Hotel Charlie, Parafoot Ground, good afternoon, taxi to Rampay, Juliet, time is 5, 5 and a half, here taxi guy into the door. Taxi to runway, uh, holding point to Juliet, uh, um, that should be right with that, just past you guys there. Yeah, so it's first taxi to Rampay, Juliet, or would you rather go straight to the holding point? Uh, straight to the holding point, we thought. Thank you, Hotel Charlie, Roger, taxi to holding point Juliet 3, runway 2, 6 right. The holding point, uh, Juliet 3, 2, 6 right. Thank you, Hotel Charlie. Thank you, Charlie, we're impressed with your packing. Well, not bad, is it? Very good. And still managed to be underway. Hey, watching us. <laughs>
Valley Road, Morgan Bay, the one on the ranch here, we're at 2 o'clock at uh, 4 miles, and there is one approaching parapet from the north east on the same. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Ending look beautiful. 
On the next episode of our Australian Adventure, we spend some time on the beautiful Murray River, winding between Menham and the Big Bend. We then continue on to our next destination, Kangaroo Island. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so YouTube will let you know next time we upload a new video.